It's tax refund season, and you've been lied to the government almost your entire life because most people think when they get a tax refund, the government is giving them a bonus. Little do they know it's the government, all they're doing is giving you back your money. That's it, nothing more, nothing less. It's not a bonus. You've literally given them money, a free loan, and then they're paying you back the money that you gave them. So there's two things in this video I wanna tell you about. One is telling you actually what tax refunds are and where your money's even going in the first place. And two, and more importantly, is how to use a tax refund as a stepping stone to set up your future and to not blow it on wasteful things. And if you listen and wait till the end, I'm gonna show you how you can turn a tax refund check into a piece of real estate, into owning real property. But before we get into that, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. And as always, this is Austin Rutherford, where we talk business, finance, and real estate. So let's actually break down what a tax refund check is. A tax refund check is every month you pay the government taxes. When you get paid on payroll, you pay taxes to the government. And those taxes, sometimes you may do an overpayment. They're estimated payments to the government. So when you start an employment with somebody, you can actually select your withholdings with that company and have the amount of money that's gonna be withheld for tax purposes. And some people have a higher withholding, which in return means that they get a bigger refund check and other people have a lower withholding because they don't want to give free money to the government. They wanna use the money themselves, so they have a lower withholding, which means that they don't get money back from the government because they didn't overpay the government. So let's say you have a high withholding to the government in taxes that you owe when you get paid from your employer. All you're doing is paying the government money for taxes that will be owed in the future. And when you pay them that money and you overpay them, literally all you're doing is giving the government a free loan. That's it. It's a free, interest-free loan that you're giving the government. And you're letting them use that money for three, six, nine, 12 months without paying you a single penny in interest. Me personally, I want that money. I want my money now because I know how to invest my money and I know how to multiply and duplicate my money. So I don't want to overpay the government. I don't want to give the government anything free because they take enough money as is. I want my money now so I can use my money to grow my life, grow my business and grow my future. So again, I want to be clear, the government's not giving you a bonus. They're giving you your money back. Now there are parts of refunds where they are bonuses, where they give people money back that they haven't paid in, which is it maybe if you have kids or maybe if you have people that depend on you, like elderly parents or something like that, you can claim them as dependents and then you can get a tax write-off, which in return could possibly end up into a tax refund where you can get additional money back for you and your family at the end of the day. And if you actually decide to lower your withholding with your employer, just do me one favor. If you lower your withholding, means that you'll see more money every month because you're not giving that money to the government for a free loan, so you'll see more money, save that money, please. Don't go out there and just use it to spend and spend more money on you know, Wi-Fi and spend more money on shoes and spend more money on trips and vacations. Save that money. That's the point I'm trying to get across here. Save the money that you would be paying the government to invest into the right things. Because whether you save that money every month or you get a tax refund back at the end of the year, which you think is free money, the problem is, is nobody saves. They all go out there and just blow it on the next nice thing and they're right back in the same position they were before they had that refund check. And that is the wrong way of doing things. When you get a large lump sum, don't blow it. Take that money and invest into your future. So for the next year, you don't have to sit there and bank on a tax refund check to pay off some bills or to buy groceries or to do something nice for your family. If you invest it, you actually have more money coming in the next year. And today I'm gonna to give you three ways that you can invest that tax refund check. And the last one I'm gonna go over is how you can take that refund check and actually buy a house with it, which is where wealth starts. The first is pretty simple. You just take that money and invest it into the stock market. Over the years, the stock market has done about a 10% return. So let's say you get a $5,000 refund check from the government. You can take that five grand, put it into the stock market, and earn $500 a year in interest. Again, I know it doesn't, $500 doesn't sound like a lot of money, but it's free money. It's literally money that you get just for doing it. There are better ways to invest and make more money, which we're gonna cover, but if you want to invest into stocks, which is a good investment that again has produced about 10% a year, 
you can put it into the stock market. If you want to know what I use, I use an app called Webull. You can download it on the App Store. If you click the link in the description below and sign up through that link, you'll actually get a free stock to trade with on Webull. The second one is a little bit different, similar, but a little bit different is cryptocurrencies. The stock market produces about 10% a year. Cryptocurrencies are extremely volatile. So I do want to say this definitely has more risk. Crypto has more risk than stocks in my opinion, but it's extremely volatile, which can be really, really good or really, really bad. It can crash very quickly and you can lose it all, or it can double, triple up very quickly and you can make a lot more money. I had a coin that I bought at seven cents. I bought the coin when it was valued at seven cents. Two weeks later, it was valued at 55 cents. It's a seven to eight X, meaning if I put that $5,000 into that coin, I'd have made 35 to $40,000 in profit. Again, that's not normal. That's just buying the right coin at the right time. There is real risk inside of crypto, 100% guaranteed, but it does have the potential for higher upside, in my opinion, than stocks. So if you wanna get started into crypto and you wanna know who I use, I use an app called Voyager. You can download it on the App Store. And if you click the link in the description below and you invest $100 into cryptocurrency, they'll give you a free $25 of Bitcoin that can be yours as well. The third option, and it's my favorite, and I've been using it for years, is to buy real estate. It's to buy real estate with it. Home ownership, use that money as a down payment for a house. Doesn't seem possible. High level numbers here. Let's say you take that $5,000 refund check. And if you're not getting a $5,000 refund check, that's okay. Just add it to your savings so you can save up to $5,000. You can actually buy a $100,000 house with that. You use an FHA loan, an owner occupied loan, which is only a three and a half percent down payment. So all you need to do is put $3,500 as a down payment. That other $1,500 can be used for, you know, extra closing costs and things like that and then you get a bank to finance the rest of the deal. Now you own a $100,000 house with a $5,000 refund check. Think about this, think if you did that every year or every other year, whenever you were able to save up enough money to do that, it starts changing your life. And then if you started to do that, your friends and your family start to see that as well. They're like, man, if, if Austin can do it, I can do it. So now you're changing the trajectory of your family's lives forever doing the same thing. It literally only takes one person to make that decision to invest into their future, to change all the people around them. One person does better than everybody wants to follow the same path. Let me ask you this. Do you want to be that man or that woman five to 10 years from now where your kids and your grandkids look up and say, that's my mom or that's my dad or that's my grandma or that's my granddad. And I'm so proud of them because you got to think about this. Kids talk, right? If you have the biggest house and the pools and all those fun things, your kids will be at school saying, man, you won't believe where I live. Guess what? That's because of you. Or if you got the nicest cars when you pick your kids up from school, guess what? Kids talk, man, you know, I, your dad's car is crazy. I know, you know, that's because of you. It's because you made that decision to invest in yourself. Or like, man, you won't believe I just got back from Asia. It was amazing. We went to the Philippines, the, the Fifi Islands. Man, it's tremendous. Guess what? That's because of you as well, because you decided to make an investment into yourself and into your future from something as simple as a tax refund check. I don't know about you. I want to be that person that my kids and my grandkids can say that about. Invest into your future first. Don't blow it on those wasteful things. Make the investment to change your life. And then you can start living the life that you want after the investments and start enjoying living, loving life. And if you want to know how you can buy houses using this very similar strategy and literally living for free, check out this video here. As always, I appreciate you being here. We'll see you on the next one.